Are you a good sport? Yes. How scary is this interview going to be? Not so bad. So I don't need a blanket or my mom to cover my eyes? For the interview, no, I don't think so. Mom, no blanket. We're good. What is the Callisto Protocol? It's a sci-fi horror game. If I got through a movie like Midsummer, should I be able to get through this? This is a lot scarier than Midsummer. Is Florence Pugh in the game? No, not yet. But Josh Dumel is, right? Josh is in. On set, did you ever have to ask him to stop talking about North Dakota? There have been a couple of times, yeah. Why Josh for this particular role? I just thought that his range was really good. So it wasn't the Taco Bell ad? No, they were good, though. A little scary. Daddy, look. Honey, where did you get that? The clown gave it to me. Why are they doing this? Do you ever have to stop mocap because the scene was just too damn scary? <laughs> no. Where does the game take place? On Callisto, which is the, uh, the dead moon of uh, Jupiter. Why Callisto compared to some of the other moons? You love the fact that it was called the dead moon, but it's also, believe it or not, it's like one of the ones that scientists say that maybe we could colonize because it's got water. Do any of the main characters look at Callisto and utter, that's no moon? Not yet. Would you like me to write some of the game for you? You may have to. What's combat like in the game? Combat is fairly evolved. You're using a number of different melee weapons and, and a lot of uh, other weapons, uh, you know, like guns, rifles, that sort of thing. What kind of weapons are in the game? Besides the pistols and the rifles that I talked about, you've got a shiv and you've got a, a stun baton. Can you shoot off any limbs? Oh, yes, you can. We went farther than we did in Dead Space. Will dismemberment stop the creatures? If you knock off too much of them and you have to cut off their two arms, they may die. But uh, some of them are still going to attack you with, uh, with their arms off. Speaking of the creatures, what are we actually fighting? The virus itself is ancient. You know, it was extracted from the, this moon a long time ago. And so there's, there's remnants of the, the ancient beasts, but there's uh, also scientists then took this you know, virus, and they, of course, mess with it, and they try to make man better. How many enemy types are there in the game? I think this is around 10, 11. How'd you come up with these abominations at striking distance? Some of them I knew right away, like way, way in the beginning of the game, I'm like, you know what, I want a, I want a guy with two freaking heads that you can cut in half. Do they have any specific names? I call Big Mouth, Big Mouth. There is a scientific name to the to all of them called the biofish. Do you have a name in studio for the terrifying extending one? Yeah, we call him the blood worm. Speaking of names, what's the main character's name? Jacob Lee. Is Jacob named so because Jacob is the son of Isaac in the Bible? Very good. Why is Jacob on Callisto? He gets boarded by a uh, sort of a, another group that wants some of his cargo. And in, in that boarding, uh, they crash land. So you're saying the burger people didn't have anything to do with it? No, they didn't. The burger people, they, they. Not, not in this case. Is Jacob a good guy or a bad guy? I'm gonna let you decide. Are there upgrades in the game? Yes, there are. And upgrade menus aren't safe either, correct? I'm not gonna tell you about that. Will we be fighting in space at all? No, you will be outside from time to time, but not in space. Is this the type of game where humanity is the true villain? Some parts of humanity, yes, absolutely. When did the game leave the PUBG universe? Over time, it grew, and uh, the story just kept, kept kind of going in different ways. Be honest with me, Glenn. Were you just not winning enough chicken dinners? Oh, I definitely wasn't. What was the allure of having it in there in the first place? I think because, you know, it was such a popular game, uh, you know, could we ride the wave of, of some of the some of that? It, it actually fit at some point, it really did. But uh, we outgrew it a bit. So is it in the Fortnite universe then? No, it's not. How do you balance horror in your games? I'm telling you, it is, it is a gut call. Will players ever feel overpowered in Callisto? Them being overpowered or them being overpowered by the end? Both. Let's start with the character. We're still working on the tuning. I'm, I'm hoping that the character's never going to feel too overpowered. And then uh, are the enemies going to overpower you a lot? Yes. But if you are uh, clever, there are many ways to get me on. I just need to get clever now. You down to play a game? Yeah, which one? I'm going to ask you what's scarier between the Callisto Protocol and something else. Sound good? OK. What's scarier, Callisto or the final circle in PUBG? That's pretty pretty scary, but I'm still going to go with Callisto. Callisto or the Ren and Stimpy show Buckaroos? <laughs> uh, you know, I made a couple of those games, and they're pretty scary as well. Um, but I'm still going with Callisto. Callisto or privatized space travel? Yeah, well, that's pretty scary. Would you ever go to space? I've thought about that, and uh, I, I think I would enjoy it. Callisto or Dead Space? Got me there, Callisto. Callisto or the movie The Strangers? Callisto. But that was pretty scary, too. Callisto or when your mom used your full name when you were a kid? Because that only happened a few times, and you knew. 
You were in trouble. Yep. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go with that one, Mom. Do you have to cut anything from Callisto because it was too scary? It wouldn't have been because it was too scary. It might have been too brutal, but I don't. I think we left that in too. Isn't it scarier when you don't see the monster, though? I don't always agree with that. I mean, Michael Myers, when he shows up right in front of you, he's pretty darn scary. On a scale of one to ten, how scary is the ski free Yeti? Is the what? Is the ski free Yeti? I'm not that familiar with the Ski Free Yeti. Uh, I, I apologize. Neither neither am I. So I'll uh, give it a seven. What's the scariest thing you've ever painted? I don't know. I, I think there's been a couple of paintings where I've, uh, I've painted and then I've woken up the next day and go, oh my God, they're awful. Imposter syndrome truly is the scariest thing. How much teeth is too much teeth? You can never have enough teeth. Did you come up with the eye scene in Dead Space 2? No, I didn't. Are there any messed up eye scenes in this? They're different. But uh, yeah, we mess with eyes. You got to. <laughs> you got to. It's, it's a written rule, apparently. Jumping off of that, have you watched this new season of Stranger Things yet? I just started watching it. There's a lot of messed up eye stuff in the season. I think you're going to like it. Oh, is it really? There is. How scary is that moment in Martyrs when the lady comes running out of the basement? Dude, that, that movie affected me. Related, why do you think the French make so many messed up horror movies? It must have been a rough time at that, that point. Did I play this game with children or grandparents? You know, you're going to mess either ones up. What makes Callisto such an interesting setting? I think because it's it's actually a real setting and it's still close to home, close enough to home. What draws you to sci-fi horror so much? I love the imagination of sci-fi, but I love the emotions of, of horror. All right, you ready for a jump? Uh, I hope so. What's Candyman's favorite bar drink? <laughs> a Bloody Mary. Oh, geez, well. What's your whole thing with gore? The gorier, the better. Right now, off the top of your head, give me five words that rhyme with gore. Four, more, core, tour, uh, door. Is the majority of this game only in one shot, similar to Dead Space 2? No. What's the best horror game of all time? I think I'm gonna go with Silent Hill. It got me with sound, it got me with everything, you know? I, I just, I would love, I would, to see someone remake that. Hopefully you'll see it soon, maybe. Internet's rumors. Uh, yeah. well, I've been hearing about it for, you know, 10 years. Who does horror best in the games industry? The most consistent would be Resident Evil. Did the dollhouse get you in the last, last Resident Evil? Oh my God, yeah. yeah. Who does horror best in film, in your opinion? James Wan is up there in uh, West Craven's Dead. Uh, he was really good. I met him through Dead Space as well. Spent some time at his house talking about horror and, and all. It was very cool. How closely do you work with the sound department? Very closely. What's the wildest thing you use to create a sound effect? I love the oboe. Has your work on Call of Duty influenced Callisto? The way we presented story in Call of Duty was always good. Can we press F to pay respects in this game? No. Are you sick of people comparing Callisto to your other work? You know, I I, I knew it was going to be, uh, uh, it was always going to be that. Would you mind if I added one more comparison? Go right ahead. What's the main inspiration you pulled from Barbie Game Girl while creating this project? Uh, what not to do. Barbie Game Girl was, uh, believe it or not, outsold everything else that, that the company had that year. So they made me art director after. So is Barbie Game Girl directly responsible for you being here today? It may be. When can people play it? December 2nd of this year. Finally, how scary was this interview by your standards? You made me feel more comfortable as we went, but uh, there were some scary moments. <laughs> so I have to no work bit. on my, my horror ramping is what you're saying. A little bit, but you're, you're not bad. For more on the Callisto Protocol, be sure to head over to GameInformer.com slash Callisto Protocol and YouTube.com slash GameInformer for all the gory details you could ever want.